Well, hello there. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Butterfly House Tours. My name is Megan and I'm one of the naturalists here at Beaver Creek Reserve. So this week's episode, we're gonna talk about monarch look likes and we're gonna learn about the differences between the different types of butterflies that we have here that look really similar. So let's go and see what we can find. So the first butterfly we're gonna be talking about today is called the Viceroy. This is actually the most common butterfly mix up between the two orange and black butterflies that we have here in the house. So here are our two butterflies. Now I want you to take a minute and I want you to see if you can tell the difference between these two very different butterflies. So were you able to figure out the differences between these two butterflies? Well, let's take a closer look. So if you look on the monarch, the monarch is actually a lot larger than the viceroy. The viceroy is a little bit smaller than the monarch. A lot of people say it's kind of like a tiny one. Also, if you take a look, the viceroy has this line on its hind wing, this curved black line that really helps us tell the difference between the two. So as we learned in our first video when we talked about the monarch butterfly, their caterpillars actually eat milkweed. And so we have some milkweed right here. The way we tell the difference with milkweed is if you pull the leaf just a little bit apart, you'll see a milky sap come out of it. Well, viceroys actually eat aspens, just like this one right here. And they also eat willows like this one here in our butterfly house. And also our viceroy's lifespan is quite different than the monarchs. Viceroys actually live twice as long as monarchs do. So now let's go move on to our next monarch lookalike. Our next mistaken orange and black butterfly is the fritillaries. And so if you are looking at a fritillary far away, you're gonna think it's a monarch because they are orange and black. But when you look up close, they have different patterns. So let's take a look between the two. So you can see that they are very different butterflies. Our monarch has veins, straight lines, while our fritillary has lots of spots and kind of different, a little different color orange compared to the monarch. So we have many different types of fritillaries here in Wisconsin. So let's name a couple. We have Great Spangled, Aphrodite, Atlantis, Meadow, Bog, and there's so many more. Something really unique to fritillaries is that they live all summer long. Monarchs, on the other hand, actually have many generations throughout the summer, while fritillaries just have one. Also, when fritillaries are in their caterpillar stage, their host plant, or basically a plant that they eat, are violets, like this one right here. And all of these, and also these ones right here. So our last monarch mimic is the northern crescent. So the northern crescent is this butterfly right here, and this is actually a really small one. A lot of people call this the mini monarch, but it's really not. It's its own type of butterfly. So let's see the differences between these two butterflies. So you can see they have the same colors, but different patterns in them that are very distinctive. So our Northern Crescent's host plant, remember host plant is caterpillar food, are asters, just like this one right here. And when you're looking for this Northern Crescent butterfly, they're most commonly found on trails or gravel paths, just like this one we have in the butterfly house. So now when you're taking your hike and you see an orange and black butterfly, it could be a monarch and it might not be. So if you want to learn more about the butterflies that we just talked about today, check out the links in the description below. Thanks for joining us, see you later. Hi, I'm Eric Keisler, Executive Director from Beaver Creek Reserve. Thanks for watching this great educational video from our staff. To find out more information like this and others, check out our website at beavercreekreserve.org. You can also support us by being a member or donating to our endowment campaign, which is supporting Beaver Creek through this COVID-19 crisis. Thank you, we appreciate your time.